Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Something that I've been wanting to play around with a bit lately is APRS over HF. Now, I've ran it for quite a while in my mobile over 2 meter, and it works uh, pretty well. But in some areas that I go to, you're limited being able to get back in to an APRS repeater. So I wanted to explore APRS over HF. Let's see if we can get that installed and working today. Now, first thing you'll notice, you, normally I will come into the Raspberry Pi through an SSH connection, but today we're going to go ahead and work with our VNC connection. So I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal window, and let's get that blown up. All right. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get Direwolf installed on the system. So we'll run a sudo app get install direwolf all right and it looks like that is finished up now the one thing that it doesn't seem to want to do is it doesn't want to seem to install the direwolf comp file so i went ahead and uploaded this prior to the video and you can see it right here I'll go ahead and leave a link to a blank comp file that you can download uh, in my Dropbox, and I'll leave that link down in the description below. All right, but now that that's done, let's clear the screen out. And the next thing we're going to need is Exaster. All right, so let's install Exaster with sudo apt-get install x-a-s-t-i-r. All right, and when you see this screen... You want to tab over and tell it yes. All right, and that should be both pieces of software that we need installed. So let's go ahead and clear this screen. The next command we're going to run is a record dash L. Got to spell it right. A record dash L. That's going to give you a list of your sound cards. So I'm using the signal link here. You can see the USB audio codec and that is card one and device zero. So those are the two pieces of information that we need. So let's go ahead and go into the direwolf comp file and make the needed adjustments. Pseudo nano direwolf.conf All right. We'll start coming down through here. And I'm looking for this line right here, a device and plug hw colon 1 comma 0. With the signal link, uh, when I ran the a record dash l while ago, that gave me these numbers right here, the 1 and the 0. Plug HW references the signal link sound card. So that looks good. If you're using a different sound card, you may have different settings here. Or if your sound card, maybe you've got dual sound cards, your uh, sound card could be two instead of one. But the A record will let you know that. All right, so now that we found that, let's go ahead and scroll on down. The next thing we need to do is enter our call sign. So on this line here where it's my call, take out the no call and enter your call sign there. And the last thing we need to know is set up the modem correctly. Now, since we're using HF, we want this line right here, the, the modem 300, 1600, colon 1800. And we want to take out the pound symbol right there to uncomment that line and make that the usable modem. And that's all we got to do for this. So we'll uh, control X to get out of it. Yes to save the changes, and enter to write the file. Guys, I had to make an edit after this video was finished. Uh, something that dawned on me, if you've been following along with our series and have already installed Pat Winlink, you're going to run into an issue when you try to start Direwolf. What's going to happen when you try to start it with the Direwolf command is you're going to get this right here where it says device or resource busy. And then it's going to exit back out of Direwolf. This is happening because during the WinLink videos, 
we went into the rc.local file and actually auto started the pyr.c for the pat win link pyr.c is actually connected to our signal link right now so to get around that we need to run a sudo kill all pyr.c once that is finished i'm going to just clear that screen now when you run direwolf it should work as expected all right let's get back to the video all right so let's go ahead and start direwolf with the direwolf command and then we'll go ahead and open a new terminal window and in this window we'll run sudo exaster all right once exaster loads up we need to enter our call sign right here in the first line and just go ahead and click OK. All right, inside Exaster, let's click the interface and the interface controls. And we're going to add an interface. And the first thing we want to uh, add is the networked AGWPE. And right here where it says wide 2, let's tell it to gate and say OK. And then click on it and start. You'll notice that changes and says that that device is up now. So that gets Exaster talking to Direwolf. Next we need to add the GPS. So we'll click add once again. And a networked GPS. Click add. And we'll just say OK right here. Click on this one and click Start as well. Now you'll see that both devices are up and running. Go ahead and close out of this dialog box. And let's zoom in on the map a little bit. And as you can see, it's placed me on the map in the proper spot. Now we can update this map a little bit. Now if you're offline, uh, this is not going to work for you once you're out into the field. But while you're connected to the internet, we can get a better looking map. So we'll go up to Map and Map Chooser. And we'll use this option here, OSM Tiled Mapnet.geo. Hit Apply. And OK. And that provides us with a much better looking map. Now let's go ahead and test these settings and make sure we're getting a signal out. As you can see, we're on 10.147.6 upper sideband. Now from inside your software, let's click interface and transmit now. All right, so jumping over to APRS.FI, you can see that we were gated two minutes and one second ago by KO6KL. Um, and I went ahead and clicked on him, took a look, and that's all the way out on the West Coast in California. So pretty good hop for 30 watts of power. Uh, let's see, it looks like that was 1,900 miles. Uh, distance travel for that APRS signal. So that's pretty good range. Uh, a little bit better than you'll get out of uh, two meter APRS anyway. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. We'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.